1978 Mustang King Cobra Mustang 2. So this is T-top removal and gasket time. Um, once you remove your T-tops, if you remove the plastic cover, it has three screws, one, two, and three in an aluminum body. The T-top looks like this. It has a gasket that surrounds the, the top. And if you go to the body here, so you can just look at it and then see how your T-top will remove. Okay. The other things that you have to remove. Now, in order to get the T-top off, you don't have to remove anything. Just unlatch the T-top and pull it out. Hopefully your pillar points are still there and still work. Um, yeah. But in order to remove the gaskets for the T-tops, you do have to remove the A-pillar arm cover. Okay, so that has a handful of screws. It has one here in the center, and then it has one here at the end of the door. Okay, and then the one thing that'll keep you from removing the pillar arm is the metal balance that sits up here at the top corner that keeps in your pillar arms as well so it covers over the top so you'll need to remove that once you get that removed the gasket itself has two screws and actually three you will have a piece that looks like this that sits over the old gasket like that okay those have two screws. The new gasket fits right on over that space and you'll have to make your own holes to mount that bracket. Now in regards to how that bracket fits on, I do think that there was a couple of bolts back and behind one, two right here. Um, I'm not going to go fishing. I think that those went down into my A pillar. So what I'm going to do is get a handful of really small screws with bolts and with a magnet fish in behind and mount it that way. So I'm going to see if I can kind of make that work. Um, but this piece here mounts on like so and just snaps up inside like that. And you have a wonderful new weather stripping for your t-top so i'm gonna head to uh napa and get some glue for the top so the glue really from the factory was only glued right here across the top and in this triangle your triangle area <laughs> triangular area so before i do anything what i'm gonna do is get some black rust-oleum and paint any areas that um, the paint got kind of scorched off because I was trying to get the, the glue off and you know there's some not I don't think I have much rust but I do have little little pockets that look like they have maybe little amounts of rust in there so I'm gonna put a rust protectant and then put some paint inside the trough area um, and of course paint so there's a felt piece the detaches here that's glued. My felt piece is a pile of junk and I have not found these for sale for the Mustang 2s, but I have for the Fox bodies um, and they look exactly the same. I don't know if the length is gonna work, but if I can't find one specific to the Mustang 2, this is what had happened to my felt piece. The guy had closed the, the T-top incorrectly and had munched this completely out of shape. Um, so the T-top really didn't fit or sit right. So I will be replacing that felt piece. It did not come with the Mustang 2 T-top kit that you can get off of the Reproductions website. That T-top kit comes with the A-pillar, B-pillar, the inside gasket for the T-top itself all the way around and then that is it so that is what that kit comes with um, does not come with the felt super disappointing because the felt is used on the 1978 
again repeat felt is used on the 1978 t-top so you may have to order a fox body i don't know if they made them for a year but that is the t-top gasket system i'll try to show the passenger side being done but this is it in progress i did not have to remove the seat belt cover post cover um my seat belt bolts kind of stripped so i was hoping to get around from doing that and i was able to get around from doing that and the crack here huh, that was made by me earlier so yeah whatever makes a hot mess but it's worth actually being able to have a t-top um 